How's it being, uh, you know, knowing you're going to be involved again this year and, and being back out there with the guys? It feels good to be back and, and healthy. Did you, uh, did you were you able to do anything last season towards the end of the season? No, or? I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, were you back out the spring ball at all? Yeah, I was back out this spring okay. ball. I feel a lot better. Um, what, what did happen? Because like right about this time of year last year, you got hurt, right? right? What, what happened? But just my leg, my kids, that's it. Um, was was it close whether you're gonna have to redshirt or was it kind of obvious that you weren't gonna be able to play? Or well, it was depending on how I felt, and obviously I wasn't feeling good at the time. So you said it was your Achilles. Yeah. You tore your Achilles, or no? Well, I had calcium deposit growing in my uh, my heel, so they had to you know, do their their job on my my leg. So that's you have to do surgery to get rid of them. Um, what uh, um, you know, what was that like to, to prepare for your senior year, and then you know, all of a sudden you're coming back for another year, and you know, your college experience is another year. What, what was that? Well, I had like another year left, so, so you know, I took that as an advantage of learning the game more to help me slow down when I get back. Yeah. Uh, where are you at in school? Where are you at in school? Where are you at in school? I'm a senior. Right. I mean, oh, you're well, out of school. Are you graduating? This, oh yeah, I'm or graduating. You already graduated? Yeah, okay, this great. December I graduated. What are you studying? Communications. Okay. Did, did that line up better for you then to, to get you know academics and you know, your playing career kind of end at the same time now? Yeah, it, it worked out well. You know, those guys playing. Um, what? Uh, how, you know, how did you end up here originally? I mean, from Samoa and went, went to school yeah, out in well, Kansas. So, how, how did you end up here? I graduated in American Samoa, then I did two years in uh, in Kansas, my junior college, and I got offered here. So. Did you know anything about Boise State? Or? No, I didn't at the time. But I knew we had a good. They had a good program, so I wanted to win. That's why I came here. <laughs> did your coach put your name out there, or did they come find you, or how did Boise State find you out there? They came out and found me. Yeah. <laughs> um, you born and raised in Samoa? I was born in American Samoa, and I was raised in Hawaii and California. Oh, okay. Where'd you Where'd you graduate from high school? In Tafuna High School. Where at? In American Samoa. Oh, okay. So you went back. Yeah. So you came I over and went back. Yeah. Okay. Did Coach Horton get you from Fort Scott after? Uh, it was Coach Sims at the time. He's the head coach, so I guess he saw some film on me, and he was willing to give me that scholarship to play there. Kind of having this this extra chance this year that you maybe you know you didn't know you'd have it. You know, how do you kind of look at this year and kind of motivating and kind of making the most of this this last year and trying to finish your career strong? Well, I'm, I just need to get better individually. You know, try to stay healthy. I'm just trying to go out with a bang and finish my senior year strong. Did you you mentioned spots on the inside at all, and how does Armand obviously not starting fall camp? Does that kind of open the door at all? I mean, you know, I got a big shoes to fill. Armand did a really good job last year. I just gotta. It depends on you know the formation. So yeah, it don't matter. You mentioned you know last year you know having that year to learn the game more. What 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 was the benefit of of last season for you, even though you weren't able to play? Just knowing this game, uh, you know, getting mental reps on the sideline while I was out. How do you uh, describe yourself as a player? A football player. <laughs> <laughs> Simple enough. How did you get into football? Did you get into, into Samoa or over here? Or? Yeah, I played in American Samoa. Okay, that, that's where you started playing? Yeah. Is it is the sport big over there or what's football they like? They like a lot of soccer, so or rugby. That's what's trying to transition. Yeah. Would you play any of that stuff or did you always football? Or? Not too much. Was you know, playing college football something you dreamed of doing or just kind of happened? Or? Well, when I went to junior college, that's when I realized, you know, how big college was. And I wanted to be out there. <laughs> what, uh, um, your family over there, or your family kind of scattered? or where was My parents right now, they live in Hawaii. Okay. And I have family in Long Beach, California, and also in America, so I'm there. What do you consider home? All those three places. All three places. <laughs> <laughs>two of you haven't waited for this chance for a while how, how eager are you to get out there and show what you guys can do it's just a big opportunity and you know it's the only chance he got and i got you know left to play so i'm gonna give it all we got when you came you know came over here to go to college what did you want to do what you know what was your goal coming over to to, 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 to the u.s to, to go to college well to be honest i didn't have a goal my my main goal was just to play football and as of now i still want to play football so you always been a defensive tackle? Did you ever do anything else in football? I played running back uh, in American Samoa, but you know, got to be realistic with my weight. <laughs> <laughs> How big were you when you were playing running back? Um, it wasn't really a running back, it was just like practice squad. Okay. Um, 250. Did they, they, they don't have, they, they don't have small Atkinson running backs. In a, uh, <laughs> backfield 
Uh, I said, you and Mike Atkins sit in the backfield together for the goal line package? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think they'll allow that. <laughs> when, when you got injured, was it one play or moment, or was it just something that had been coming on that, that you, know, you had to get taken care of? Well, it happened during spring, so at the time it was bothering me, and I was just hurt, and he just wasn't feeling well, so I told the trainer. You haven't played in a year and a half. I mean, how how you know start to get this time of year? How eager are you to get out there and, and get back on in a game? I'm eager. You know, I, I can't wait to play. I played spring and it felt good, so just moving on. I just can't wait to play. I'm I'm happy to be out there with my brothers. And just, you know, it's good defense and good offense too, so we learn from each other. What do you, you know, hope to bring to that line? What you know, what do you feel like you can contribute to that group? I just want to give it all I got. That's it. You know, I just want to help contribute. And, just want to win. I want to help us win. Yeah. The, the roster suggested you added some size this, this offseason. Did, did you do that? And if so, why? Uh, I felt like I kind of maintained my weight, but I got stronger in the weight room. I think for Coach Fit and his staff, uh, they helped. He helped me a lot. You know how to be, how to be more relentless. So if I was relentless in the weight room, you know I could transition that to the field. So that helped me out a lot. How, how does that show up? Being relentless in the weight room? Just being physical. You know, you trying to bench. A lot of way, you know, just gotta have your imagination of who's in front of you, and uh, I took that. <laughs> who, who, who do you imagine? Uh, and I'll keep that. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you bench? Um, probably roughly five. Five hundred? Yeah, 